Has something like this ever happened to you? <laughs> Grief is a powerful emotion we all experience sometimes, whether from the loss of a pet, family member, <laughs> or friend. <laughs> Finally, there's a way to overcome grief instantly, or better yet, never feel it in the first place. Ever since Dr. Mortem's Nobel Prize winning discovery that the soul continues to inhabit the body upon its expiration, we at SoCorp have been working endlessly on a way to harness this truth in a way that benefits both the living and the departed in a meaningful way. Previously, human souls could only be viewed and interacted with through professional and expensive scientific equipment. Finally, there's a consumer-friendly option. The Spectrophone Imparting Terminal. Assuming your deceased loved one has been cremated, simply flip the power switch and pour the ashes into the input funnel and tune dial A until their soul appears on the output monitor. Next, tune dial B until you can hear what sounds like garbled noise emanating from the speakers. It's no surprise that speaking without vocal cords is rather difficult for an untethered soul, but no problem. Enabling plane-to-plane -plane translation will convert this noise into intelligible speech, and vice versa when you use the microphone to talk to the soul. And presto, you now have an efficient way to reunite with your lost loved ones. Once you've asked any questions you may have about what lies beyond, tied up loose ends, or berated your dead husband for leaving you to raise nine children by yourself, carefully turn off the machine and your connection will be severed. Ashes can be retrieved from a chute at the back, so make sure to place something there to catch them. The Spectrophone Imparting Terminal is only £400. Please stay tuned for a short troubleshooting segment about any problems that may arise when using the terminal. Troubleshooting. Communicating with a soul trapped in cremated ashes is a delicate process, and truthfully, a desirable result cannot always be guaranteed. If the person in question died in unrelenting agony with a late-stage neurological disorder, or if the ashes are partially missing or contain debris, you may end up with what we call a damaged soul. Damaged souls are unpredictable, incoherent, and usually visualized in red, whereas complete souls will be visualized in yellow. If a damaged soul appears on the output monitor upon tuning dial A, you should not attempt to engage with it. Instead, sever the connection as soon as possible. The longer you remain connected, the more agitated the soul will become. The situation may end up escalating into a collapse event. The deceased vessel in which a soul is contained also conveniently functions as an inescapable prison for damaged souls. There is a risk, however, that sustaining a connection with a damaged soul through the spectrophone imparting terminal will prise the soul from its vessel and release it into the open air. Oh dear, this one doesn't seem very happy to see you again, does it? What on earth could you have done to make it so terribly upset? Oh well, in this scenario, it is advised that you resign and embrace the inevitable. After all, this is no use for whatsoever. Never have to say goodbye again with the spectrophone imparting terminal.